I messaged probably about 100 different men and women, anyone that had anything connected to Batalian Bastianich Hospitality Group. Pretty quickly, you started hearing that there was two sides to Mario, that there was this gregarious, charming guy. There was also a guy who had this other reputation as being lewd and sleazy, and then whispers of some more intense and degrading behavior. So many of the men and women were so afraid. They were still so afraid. They were afraid of Mario himself. They felt that he was vindictive and his really huge and important position in the food industry. And anybody who was going to challenge that, he was going to try to come after them. They were so nervous about getting sued. Even just talking to us on background as an unnamed source. I get this call, Irene. <laughs> so, I mean, these aren't the exact words, but I just remember saying, hi, Steve, hi, yeah, Steve Crane, you're Paul, yeah, this is Paul Russell. Hi, I'm Irene, I guess, from, from Eater.com. We're doing a story on um, um, sexual harassment, and a couple of women come forward to Paul, and I think I was like, you got the wrong guy. <laughs> My thing was I was out in New York, I was out of the restaurant scene, I had to think about it. So well, I got to think about this. Do I want to be that guy throwing people under the bus? You know, people are really crane, now that you're out, you're going to, you know. I mean, I, did I witness things? Absolutely, but I, I feel uncomfortable talking about them. But the waitresses from Poe, that came forth. I remember I you saying they believed in you and that you would probably do the right thing, you know? So what I did was I cooperated their stories. I said, yes, that is true, and I'm willing to cooperate them. Because I didn't want to let them down. And she kept saying, because there was no names on there, and she was good. She kept saying, you know, it would really make a much more impact if there was a name, if you put your name on it, you know? So anyway, I said, fine, Steve Crane, there it is. We're just running and gunning on this. You know, we had some news editors who would say, well, he grabbed her breast, and then he kind of pushed her against the wall and tried to kiss her, and then go, yeah, but was she hurt? I mean, she wasn't assaulted, right? So we had to actually do some education with our own team to move beyond the, well, yeah, that exists. Yeah, How is that news? That's not news, dear. That's not news, dear. You know, society was changing, and we were there on the front lines trying to help um, document that change. But then the reporting also defines the change. What is the story that we're telling? Right. You know, if it's not the kind of egregious... Um, if it's not a rape, you know, uh, physical um, invasion that generally would be considered newsworthy, what is the story that we're telling? It was the story of servers coming in every day and feeling degraded by Mario having him ask them, oh, did you get laid last night? Like snapping bra straps, grabbing them from behind in these gross bear hugs. One woman could still remember the feeling of his breath on her neck, and he would just squeeze her and grab her, and he would, like, breathe on her and almost smell her like he was sucking her in. There was this known thing among the servers, stay away from Batali's hands. Batali had this reputation for being a serial crotch grazer, this bizarre act that he was known for. We were also starting to get tips from women who were just his fans. <laughs> 